Welcome back to another pen talk. Um, another pen. So those of you that, that watch my channel know that I enjoy a bargain. I search eBay, Amazon websites. You know, I kind of know what I would like and I also like to experiment, explore, and I like to share what I find. So especially when I find something that exceeds my expectations. So in perusing Amazon, I came across this pen on Amazon. Here's what it looked like. I ordered it. It arrived in a few days and it was just wrapped in this bubble wrap with these two labels on it. And then when I opened it up and saw the pen, I was uh, very, very happy with it. The cap is pretty generic, but what they've done with the barrel is just amazing with the embedded seashell in there, whether it's abalone or not, it's still impressive. Um, not my normal light, this is just uh, LED lighting, but uh, it seems to really bring out what I just find amazing. I mean, it's the kind of pen that you can just sit there and stare at and twirl around in your hands. And with all Jin Hao's, it has good weight to it. You know, other than uh, the seashells embedded in the barrel, it's pretty generic. You got your Jin Hao Chariot, just a plain uh, finial on top. So one of the things when I when I looked at this pen, I said, "Well, that looks interesting." So here's the Duke that I reviewed uh, about a week or so ago, and as you can see, it's a similar shape. And also the clips have a similar type of design to them. So I don't think this is a knockoffs. I think these are just standard Chinese designs. They might be made in the same factory. Who knows? But um, I found that interesting. The pen just pulls off cap, which is typical. It posts nice, nice and securely, just kind of slips on. It's a good size in the hand. You don't need to post it to write with it. You know, unposted, it still fits well. It's on the light side. The cap is probably half the weight. I'll give you those dimensions when I come to it. I like the long section. It makes it easy to hold. And it's just a typical Jin Hao nib. Nothing uh, spectacular about it. But as with all Jin Hao nibs that I've experienced, it, it works well. So with that, we'll uh, take a look at this nib on paper. But first, we'll do a comparison. So here's another Jin Hao that I bought that I wanted to do a review on when I was into wood and pens. So the barrel is basically just has uh, a nice uh, wood in it. And here's another Jin Hao, your X450 uh, in a nice, uh, very nice color, uh, compliments of, of my friend Larry. And just to round things out, there's a um, Pilot 78G, and then we'll bring in the Lamy. So, you know, it's just your standard size, mid-size type pens. You know, the 450 is probably the largest one of this group and, and the heaviest one by no doubt. Things I wanted to look at is I think uh, the Jin Hao's are well made, at least this particular model. As you can see, there's metal threads, your typical Jin Hao converter, which seems to be showing up on all the Jin Hao's I got recently. And also there's metal threads inside the barrel, which adds to the to the weight of the pen. But... Very well made, the threads all glide very smoothly and very easily, and when you set it in place, it stays in place, so beautiful. As I mentioned, the section is nice. It's a uh, good length, so you can hold it wherever you would like. The nib really just glides across the paper, you know, typical of Jin Hao nibs. It's also, I think, a little bit on the wet side compared to some of the other Jin Hao's, which is a good thing because most of them are pretty dry. Yeah, that's pretty wet. This is SK Pacific Blue ink. So again, this is just a quick drive-by. Again, let's take a look at how that seashell just really works very, very well in this barrel. I'm just impressed. So, um, thank you for watching.
I love the way this ink, good blue for the going with the seashell. So may you have many great writing experiences. Enjoy all of them. Experiment. Till later, the end.